quick announcement, guys. If you're in the US and you like games, good news, I have one just for you. Do you like arguing? Do you like arguing pointless things? Do you like winning? Of course you do. This is the internet. I've seen you guys go at it in the comment sections. Don't even try to deny it. Check it out. Links in the description. Okay, so last video I took a rip at all the pretentious nerds who believe that their beautifully crafted super deep story was ruined by those darn shippers. But this time actually it's time to put the toxic shippers in their place. It's so crazy that I have to both defend and call out people that are part of the same group, but it just has to be done. In my last video, I said that there shouldn't be any issue with people enjoying what they want to enjoy, but when that enjoyment turns into something toxic, and especially when people don't stay in their lane, then we have a problem. And oh my gosh, do some shippers not understand their limits. Generally speaking, same rules apply. If it bothers you, scroll past. Here are some checks I came up with to see if you're a toxic shipper. One, have you ever tweeted or directly messaged a creator or publisher claiming that they better make your ship canon? Number two, have you ever started a comment war over a ship? Number three, have you ever forced your opinion onto someone else even when they never asked for it? And number four, have you ever assumed or name called someone who didn't like how the story ended or how a story arc played out was just bitter that their ship didn't work out? Congrats, here's your toxic shipper award, yay. From what I heard, the tweeting at the creator or publisher thing was a really prevalent thing in My Hero. Don't quote me on this because I'm too far removed to know if this actually happened, but I did hear a lot about this through the TikTok grapevine. Apparently, a lot of people were trying to get the creator to make Bakugo and Deku openly gay and it somehow really got out of hand. I'm just gonna say this once more, stay in your lane. Draw your fan art, write your fanfic, but the creator doesn't need to have an inbox full of your messages about you and your particular fantasy. Number two, comment wars. Now you might think that you're on the side of justice, I really feel like anyone who does this thinks that way, but really, you're not doing anything by starting this. If you really don't agree with the ship, the best thing you can do is just move on and don't give it any more of your time. At least for TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter, they secretly measure how much time you spend on a page, so you just staying on it longer, positive or negative, you're just boosting that post even more. Number three, unwarranted opinions. Yes, this one is really important in the fan art world. And weirdly enough, I kind of get this one. Sometimes when I see a ship that just makes no sense to me, I'm like, <laughs> and I will admit, I've had the urge to comment that vomit face, but I've never actually done it. Because here's the thing, everyone's sensibilities are different. Everyone gravitates towards different things and in turn, different ships. So even if my interpretation of these characters would be, there's no way in hell that would happen, the artist did not ask for my opinion, so there's no reason I should be giving it. You don't know how many times I've seen people drawing fan art of ships and then there are comments underneath it saying like, cool art, but I don't ship them. Great, no one asked you. <laughs> These artists put a lot into their artwork, and I'm of the belief that it already takes an incredible amount of strength to post your artwork online out there for the public, because a lot of times it can feel very personal. So I'm sorry, but if you got opinions, keep them to yourself or share them with your friends, but off the artist's page. Now let's go into the territory of if the ship is very questionable, like full grown adult character and minor. Do you have the right to comment the little vomit face then? Honestly, it's a little squeamish, and I know there's this whole movement happening in the anime fandom policing these types of ships, but I'm honestly not gonna speak on this because I personally don't think it's cool. I do still think there's a level of separation between real life and fantasy, so I'm not gonna jump the gun and call the FBI on them, which many people have. I'm just gonna stick to my default that I won't give the post any more of my time or energy because that will just end up boosting them anyway. And finally, number four, this one the Attack on Titan fans know all too well. With the ending, the insults between the EMs and the EHs has risen to a historic height, resulting in both of those names basically becoming slurs to each other now. The one thing I really disliked about how people ragged on the people who were dissatisfied with the ending is how they were immediately labeled as salty EH shippers. There's nothing more infuriating than knowing that your opinion gets distilled into a one note soundbite that may or may not even be true. I have a feeling that people who were unhappy with how things played out were not shippers at all, but there, ha there was enough in there to believe that a certain ship was gonna happen. But there was so much more to it than that. So saying that EHs are just mad, or in return that the AOT no Requiem fanfic, EMs are just mad, both camps do not realize that it's not all about ships. But because you're so loyal to what you quote unquote ship, you've already resulted in demonizing someone with a different opinion than your own. And that's just not cool. Ugh, it would be so nice if we could all just get along. Like you ship what you ship, I ship what I ship, and the non-shippers don't have to worry about us at all. Everyone can stay in their lane and everyone's happy. But if that's too much to ask, let's just unite and collectively hate on this guy. Thanks so much for watching. It's another short video today. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and smash subscribe. I have a really fun video collab coming up next, so be sure to look out for that. And I will see you next time.